Good morning folks, Ken Ring here of www.predictweather.com It's the 5th of November, good to be with you again uh, We have a bit of rain at the moment in the North Island of New Zealand uh, It's going to be covering New Zealand soon And uh, we have it at the moment because the moon is again at the southernmost point Well it reaches that on the 9th, which means everything goes a bit cooler And the southern declination happens every 27 days and it's all because of the tilt of the Earth. If you remember some of our previous um, um, uh, uh, blog segments, the Earth is actually on a tilt, and the Moon goes around like this and goes from hemisphere to, to a different hemisphere as it goes around. And at the moment, it's over the southern hemisphere. And you can see it in reality here. This is line here is the equator and there's the moon up there next to the sun which is the new moon position and whenever we get the new moon uh, we have any rain comes at night the new moon is on the 6th that will be tomorrow uh, the rain mostly at night over the new moon and it's windy because the moon moves faster when it's in new moon and uh, faster when it's in perigee uh, which it was yesterday so that's a doubling up factor of speed if you like and speed means more turbulence and more turbulence brings rain uh, Labor Weekend came and went we haven't actually spoken since then and uh, there was actually quite a bit of rain around the country although they said it was going to be a pristine weekend uh, many places uh, for many places it wasn't Palmerston North got a bit of hail Kapiti Island got showers, the lower North Island was cloudy for the whole time, uh, the west of the South Island was rainy and so was Southland, uh, so, uh, but you didn't hear much about that rain. Um, so it wasn't particularly pristine, but that's the way it normally is for Labour Weekend, so it wasn't really unusual, it just was unusual up in the north uh, to have so much sunshine. Well what's actually happened in the last week or so of October is that the um, just after late weekend the solar flares started up for good measure and the whole world really heated up as a result and it took into account Labour Weekend to some extent so like on the 27th there were 74 suns, sunspots in the one day the greatest number in one day since July 2005 now they've dropped back now now to 18, um, that was yesterday. Now these always correlate with earthquakes, and we've had quite an increase in clusters lately in Christchurch. We had 15 on the 1st of November, 13 on the 2nd, and now they're creeping up, 16 on the 3rd, 19 on the 4th, uh, with a couple of 4s, that was yesterday, and that's the first time in two weeks that we've actually had a 4. Well, that was the 24th, last time there were four, just by the full moon. And this one is just by the new moon. And that's always the trend. More shakes around new moons and full moons. And this week we have the perigee and the new moon, just as it was in the first week of September when the big one hit Christchurch. Now the reason is a thing called the Van Allen Belt. And you'll see an article up about it on my website. Uh, what causes the earthquakes? Basically, um, you have the earth, as we showed you before, it's like that. And around the Earth, although you can't see it, there's a radiation shield. It's called the Van Allen Belt, after the guy who first discovered it. Now, everything that comes from the sun, the solar particles, can't actually get through this solar shield, this um, radiation shield. Uh, and that protects us. Otherwise, there'd be far too much radiation. There would be too much heat around. Uh, but what happens is, I think, that when the moon gets in gravitationally strong positions it can actually skew this radiation belt and let in more of the solar energy so when it's in the new moon situation I think it pulls the um, Van Allen belt more towards the earth when it's in the full moon situation the full moon actually pulls the Van Allen belt more across the earth over towards the moon either way I think it skews the radiation layer and it lets in more solar energy and it's the solar energy that seems to do the damage. People reported a lot of things happening in the air around Christchurch just before the big earthquake like strange lights, um, uh, weird looking clouds, uh, some people saw colours in the sky, some people said that the air felt very electrical, 
for some reason. Uh, quite often you get auroras in different parts of the world and they are actually uh, electromagnetic effects due to the solar flares uh, just before earthquakes. So um, uh, that's what I think goes on with earthquakes. And at the moment we've got all this gravitational pull going on from the new moon, the perigee, and the, uh, it crossed the equator a few uh, a couple of days before the perigee, so we've got some quite strong uh, influences from the moon gravitationally, and that's really what lets in the solar energy. So, in my, in the article I have about the earthquakes uh, coming, I did say there would be a whole bigger cluster in the first week of November, and that seems to be happening. Uh, Irish listeners, I've uh, got your almanac here. Uh, anybody? who found last year's one useful, might find next year's one useful as well. Uh, all the same things, but a few more this time. And that's available for ordering. If you wanted to go to our books section, you're most welcome to do that. Uh, delivery time is about 10 to 20 days, so it should be in time for Christmas. Australian listeners, uh, your almanac is still about three weeks away, unfortunately, but we'll have it ready for Christmas sending. And... Um, I guess that's about all. Until next time, thanks for watching. And uh, Oh, by the way, November uh, in New Zealand is going to be pretty dry from now on until a little bit of rain around the middle of the month and then a whole lot of rain around the end of the month. But uh, you've got some dry times here coming up. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you later.